This week I'm going to be having a look at the Hick Micro Raptor RQ50L. So these are the latest in thermal spotting technology from Hick Micro. Now what makes these particularly special is the fact that they combine high quality thermal sensor with a day night camera. Essentially what this means is it gives you a colour day screen during the day which switches to night vision at night with a uh, usable range of out to 400 metres with a built in IR. It also gives you thermal capabilities and the ability to fuse the two together. Now before we go into too much detail of exactly what these are capable of, let's have a quick look at the overall unit itself and some of the features. Starting at the back here, you'll notice the first thing, the eye cups are adjustable both for focus on each eye and also in and out so you can get the distance correct between your eyes. The next thing you'll notice is there's a little proximity sensor in here in between the two eye cups. Now what that does is that turns the unit on and off as you raise them up and away from your face so that you don't get light spill back onto your face when you use them at night which is very useful. The other thing you'll notice is the focus wheel is set like a normal pair of binoculars just in between the eyepieces there which is a nice feature. I've noticed on the um, Pulsar mergers which I tend to use most of the time um, the focus is on one of the eyepieces which I find a little bit awkward that's a lot more natural having it there. So moving over to the top of the unit first button on the left is a laser range finding button which also has a scan mode on there and will give you accurate readings plus or minus a meter out to a thousand meters. Next button down is the camera button that a touch of the button will record a still image and then a long press on the button will record uh, video footage directly to the 64 gigabyte memory on the unit. Bottom button there is the power button coming over to the other side we've got the magnification button the zoom button we've got the middle button here is the menu button and then the bottom button there is the mode button to take it through different um, camera modes the unit is powered by three 18650 batteries located in a little carousel on the side here which slots into the unit you can only go in one way that slots in and then just a little sort of quarter turn on that locks it back into place moving forward to the front you'll notice there's an awful lot of lenses on there what do they all do well the main one is here is your thermal lens so this is a uh, f0.9 50 millimeter thermal lens what that does is that allows extra detail through to the sensor the sensor is a uh, 12 micron sub 20 millikelvin sensor so you're getting the best possible sensor on the market in this unit it's the same sensor that Hick are using in their falcon spotters so anyone that's used one of them will know just how sharp they are then you've got on this side we've got the camera but uh, camera lens so that's your day night camera lens just here this side we've got the IR on the top there and then we've also got the laser rangefinder below that as well under there you've got a little camera tripod mount so you can mount these on a tripod if you wish to and you've also got a built-in lens cap which neatly locks back out the way when you're using them. You've also got four thermal modes with this so you've got a white hot, a black hot, a red hot and then you've also got your fusion mode. As you can see the Raptors come with their own little personal suitcase this is a hardcore flight style case uh, it's ABS or hard plastic and it's also got like a foam inserts nicely molded and you can store everything in there with plenty of room. In the case you also get a lens cloth, you get an instruction manual, you get your charger with your charging leads, you get two sets of 18650 batteries each giving you approximately eight hours of use, a neck strap and a wrist strap. So currently I've got two roe deer on the edge of this wood, uh, you can see them, it's a bit hard to see them to be fair in the in the colour mode they don't really stand out because they're, they're stood in the shadow of the trees but you can see them clearly in the thermal mode uh, let's just range those so they are 240 240 odd meters down there and with that in picture in picture mode 
that actually works quite nicely because I can see them quite clearly and then I've got the slightly more pixelated magnified image of them at the top there but still sharp enough I can see exactly what they are so overall my own personal opinion of these is they're a nice little unit they look very nicely made very solid um, they are fairly big but probably not a lot bigger than a uh, standard sort of pair of binoculars um, possibly slightly bigger uh, than the mergers I'll just do a little side-by-side -side comparison I've got the mergers here with me today and um, perhaps maybe slightly heavier but with a decent uh, neoprene style neck strap they're not uncomfortable I'll quite happily walk around all evening with those dangling around my neck so yeah a nice little unit and um, we'll take this out this evening and see if we can get a bit of footage for you to have a look at to see just how sharp they actually are I'm back out this evening with the Raptors and it's a nice dark evening a um, little bit breezy and uh, other than that it's just a bit cold and pretty good conditions to be fair for thermal so um, I'm just gonna stand around and have a little look over this field for the next hour or so and just see what comes through what comes past and just see what we can see with these this is usually a pretty good farm this or and this particular field actually for foxes so I'm hoping we'll see one or two foxes here So I've got a good field of view with these, they're pretty clear. They're very clear actually. I've got the picture in picture mode on at the moment. So uh, I've got uh, I've got that currently set at two times. And as you can see, with um, just a general kind of scan around, there's um, See some, there's some housing at a distance, I can't quite get a range on them, they're a little bit too far. But that hedge there is 840 odd metres. So the, the uh, houses were actually their factory units out the back there. They're probably more like about, I'd hazard a guess and say about 12 to 1500 metres. And hedgerows, more hedgerows. Oh, here we go, we've got a fox. Here's that. 340, 320, 320 metres, roughly. He's just disappeared now. Uh, but um, yeah, he was he was round about that. Yeah, somewhere between 320 and 340 metres. Just keep an eye out, see if he comes back out. Okay, so here we go, We've got another one out in the field, and that one is a little bit further. Let's walk down and see if we can get a little bit closer and get a bit of better footage on that one. Got another one here, 154 meters. Quite a leggy fox, that one. Quite tall. Probably a big dog fox, I expect. Well, that's a very quick look at the Hick Micro Raptors. So I hope that's been useful, and um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and please subscribe.